Welcome back for Operation Burning Cobra. You're joining just in time as we touch down in the Shadow Alley slums district of Novgorod. Uh, we're touching down to hack a resistance computer, grab the top secret advent information about thermal imaging from inside of it, uh, and then get back out uh, once we've killed everyone else in the area, of course. We've got one of each class. We've got two flashbangs and three grenades. We've got a whole bunch of guns. I'm feeling pretty decent. Let's uh, get down there. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Slums are always interesting. We've got a... We've got to fight through a very tight urban area to get to that network shutdown. Uh, to get there before the network shutdown, that is. Alright. We can go over. See, the path of least resistance is straight through here. But the problem is there's no window here to really, well there's a window on the left, but there's no window really here to let us hack. And it exposes us to two wide sides of the map, whereas perhaps if we come from this direction we've got cover and we can hack the objective through the window. So I think I'm going to try to prioritize left with this run here. I'm going to run up with uh, myself first. Moving to position. Okay, pop the doors. Let's get someone else in there. Malinowski, in. Let's go Suarez Heading out. and Jamble. Understood, moving out. We're trying to move as quickly as we can here so as to not waste time. Contact. We've got a hostile squad here. One trooper, one officer. Alright. Let's keep moving. Good copy. But we're going to have to take these guys out, obviously. Moving to designated coordinates. Affirmative. Moving out. Hopefully with a nice little ambush. But of course, ambushes are so much more difficult to pull off now with uh, that fix to concealment that we're probably just going to have to whack them on our turn because we just don't have time to screw around with these guys. Let's put Suarez on the side. Affirmative. Open moving the door out. so we can keep on moving through. We could even take a shot at these guys right now. Ah, 64. You've had much better odds than that. I wouldn't waste that. Let's get Jamble up in position soon to try and take these guys out. Beagle. Okay. Move here. Roger that. Jam will take this position. Rolling out. Next turn we can hopefully try to whack these guys. Headed there now. Roger. I've got my eyes on watch. Alright, they're moving along. Now, it's quite tempting to just move past these guys and not worry about it, but honestly, the thing about moving past them is then they're going to double back on me later and it's going to be another pod to deal with later. It's probably the most expedient thing to do is to just kill them as I see them. In this case, I'm probably going to reveal them as I move out here, but uh, let's move out to the side first. Okay. I think I can move out without revealing. Our gremlins can attempt to access the advent network from here. We might be able to hack their systems and get an advantage. But be careful. If they detect us, things will only get worse. Okay, let's move up to here, Suarez. Closing on target position now. Jamble, come here. Or even maybe to the roof, actually, would be best for you, Jamble. Yeah, go to the roof. 10 4. Beagle Rouge, get ready to move. Melanowski, get ready to move. Melanowski, let's stick you over on the side. Let's do this. Beagle, there isn't really any way you can move that's safe, is there? Unless... No, there isn't. Not a lot of good options for you, Beagle Rush. Unfortunately. I think I might just stick you... If I can get the camera to work with me. Might just uh, leave you on the window here. On watch. Okay, they're continuing to shuffle off. The important thing is we're getting closer and closer to hitting that objective. That's what really is going to be helpful for us here. We might whack these red guys real quick. Uh, first though, take a sniper rifle shot. Four to six on the advent officer, or... I can almost certainly insta-kill this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. It'll be one more damage to finish him off. Whereas that's a one shot. And that way I don't have to screw around with him later on. But it is a bit of a waste of the damage. Well, you know what? I think I'll take the free shot. 
Get him, Jamble. Show him your teeth. As the pigeon watches. So that's one trooper down. Now the officer's gonna react, obviously. Hopefully towards us. Otherwise, we're in a bit of trouble. Yep, good. So, now we can just pop one grenade and just, you know, have this guy for dinner. So I'm gonna pop a grenade over here. Heads down. And then I'm gonna move up and finish him off. Rolling. Here comes me being all showy as usual. Let's see if we can't finish him off with uh, with the special last. That's affirmative. If not, might even convince me to use a grenade against this guy. There you go, you got it. No sweat, no problem. Good riddance. Good riddance, that's right. Overwatch. Overwatch. And that's that. That's one patrol down. Two-man patrols aren't too hard to take out, so it's it's good for us in that sense. Why don't you have a look at what hacks you can pull off here, Malinowski? Bypassing security. Let me take a look. A failed hack will result in any nearby enemy groups being alerted to your position. 24%, that's not going to happen. Let's not worry about that. If you had like a 40% for me, I might try it, but that doesn't seem very friendly, does it? It's not very navely, Malowski. Okay, Malowski, I want you to move up to here. Understood. Moving out. We got contact? Ooh, on the roof. The sectoid sees all of his defined butt and high ground. During the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic, psionic potential. potential. That is right, Tygen is totally correct. Do not let me even pretend that Tygen is not totally correct. The best kind of correct. I think I can get a double Z from here. Maybe. Heading to that location. Check it out, Beegs. See what you can do. Yeah, it's kind of a double Z's. It's not a very good double Z's, but it's a double Z's. This is for you! We're gonna pop the grenade, pop the cover on that advent trooper on the right, hit the sectoid, and set his car on fire. All in one grenade. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, that's the power of Beagle Rush. Okay. I got a 59, I got an 85. We don't want to sit anyone out in a position where they're gonna be shot by the rooftop guy. We don't want that, because then the rooftop guy is gonna have really good accuracy against us. So instead. There now. Let's try to move Suarez to the side here where she won't be seen by Mr. Rooftop Man. I have failed. I'm seen by Mr. Rooftop Man. The line of sight indicator lied to me. Okay, instead, shoot this man, Jamal. Kill this man. Good. D E D. Dead. Now we're going to want to hunker against this chump, I think. Because that hide advantage is going to give him a really good chance to hit me. I don't want to fuck around with that, alright? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hunker. Digging in. I'm going to take a hunker. Holding position. Now, if this guy wants to get a good shot on me... Oh, yes. Please sit next to the gas pump. I love you. As long as the sectoid doesn't, like, make me do something weird. That's all right. We've accounted for this. We've got the flashbangs, and I think that sector is about to explode in a Michael Bay fashion next turn anyway. So now he has to come in and get a shot on us. Bye-bye. Oh, sectoids. The advent network is almost entirely locked down. We're running out of time. Get to that terminal. Now you can see we got a glitch shot at a couple of troops up there on the roof. I see that. I see you. Uh, hopefully we can get eyes on the objective very soon. Because we've only got three turns left. In this case, uh, I'm pretty sure that guy just uh, moved an overwatch bait at us, didn't he? Isn't that what he did? What's the score? On my way. Yeah, we haven't got eyes on him. We lost eyes on him. Shoot. He moved down an Overwatch, but I've forgotten where he went. I've honestly forgotten where the guy moves to. Which isn't great, I'll 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 admit, it's not great. Got a cover. Too close to the heat! Where the hell is this guy? Menace 15. The Advent Network Terminal is shutting down. This is your last chance to secure the data. Okay, so we're gonna have to move in here and get that data. Which should be quite possible through this window. I don't know where. The advent is, but I don't like it. He's gone missing, and I'm not a fan. Uh, Malinowski, you're just gonna have to move up though and do it. Heading to that location. 
We're close. Dude's just gone. Commander, we have Without a trace. Of the exposed access point. Hacking in. Without a trace. I'm gone. He's just he just disappeared. Did he Oh! This whole time I'm so stupid. He took cover next to the SUV, didn't he? So naturally he died to the explosion, I bet. I just didn't realize he was that close to the SUV. That explains it. I've just been standing on his corpse the whole time, I just realized. He's totally fucking dead. Anyway, uh, we've got a guaranteed hack on the objective. It's always guaranteed to hack into the objective. Um, then also, we've got the 33%. This thing is really good. Enemy protocol, you'll see this come up on the hack objectives a lot. Um, not on the watchtowers, just on the objectives you have to hack. This is really good because this infinitely stacks, as far as I'm aware. So, you can make your hacker really fucking good if you make them eat their hacker Wheaties by doing enemy protocol whenever you get the chance. Please roll the 33. <laughs> It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's not good enough, shit. That's a shame. You really want to stack enemy protocol as often as you can. It's, uh, it's your bread and butter. I'm in. Okay, so we're gonna hold... Right, of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. The advent files, like the X-files. Jamble's gonna move up and take a flanking position. Reload. Recovering ya. Ready to go. Recovering ya. I've got eyes on Advent troops. And here comes trouble. Two troopers, one sectoid. Let's see what they got. Okay. No one shot them. That's fair. We couldn't see them. So we've got a flashbang left. We've got two flashbangs left. Jamble can't see him from this position. Uh, but if I move up, I will be able to. Which means, Beagle Rush, come here. It is time for you to be the best. Orders confirmed. On the move. Orders confirmed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna confirm these. I'm gonna kill these fucking advent, alright, is what I'm saying. So we're gonna grenade right there. Touchdown! Take out that guy's cover. Peekaboo! I love how the grenade just doesn't come out of the launcher sometimes. Like it someone else threw it. It's like a stage, it's like a stage play, it's like a pantomime. Someone else actually threw the the grenade. So we're gonna move Rach On the move. over here. Make it flashy, honey. Good. Good crit. Unnecessary, but good. Hostile neutralized. Now we just need to finish off this chump and the the day is ours. So we're gonna move up. Moving out. And we're gonna take him out. <laughs> Dead. Got him. Right, and then we just have to prepare to engage the sectoid uh, with extreme prejudice. So I'm gonna hop Location in here. Confirmed. All right, next turn you're mine. Unless you shoot me, which is not something you're generally smart enough to do. Nope. We're doing the big psychic bullshit move. Evac! We need a That's all right. Evac! Now, damn it, now! That's all right. I don't mind. I'm gonna blow up that car instead to vent my frustration. Okay, easy peasy. Getting a little toasty here. You're fine. Oh god, I thought he blew up twice there. Uh, you're fine, you're fine. We got no more grenades. So it's time to shoot people. Poor shot, darling. Poor shot. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get it. Nah, you didn't, did ya? You didn't get it. Probably gonna slash this mf -er. I think would be the cool thing to do. So come here and slash him. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Goodbye. Well, a la mal. That sector is on Looks life like support. Over here. And another Illyrium call for Alicia Suarez. I'm sure the doctor Status is confirmed. Dead. All hostiles are down and nice. the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Yeah, you know, it's always a good reason to, if you think the last enemy on the map is one that's about to die, always a good reason to melee him, because that way you get the loot. But no, wait, that's stupid, Beagle. Because you get the loot anyway automatically. Anyway, Operation Burning Cobra is complete. Wonderful. I'm glad everyone's coming home alive, and hey, we didn't get shot again, so... That's a plus. I'm very pleased. Everyone did well. Apparently Jam dealt the most damage. Well, we did give her the high ground sniper spots, which are kind of the key to using snipers, I think, early on, before they get good. 
Malinowski won every single ever award. Good job, Malinowski. Well done, everyone. An impressive performance, Commander. Our troop skills are improving with every deployment. All right, Malinowski has earned themselves a promotion. We're up to combat protocol or medical protocol. So medical protocol is uh, you can remotely heal with your gremlin. Combat protocol is you can send your gremlin out to deal guaranteed damage. Both are good, but I think if you only have one specialist, maybe combat protocol is better simply because it's better to kill motherfuckers than let them shoot you in the first place. And combat protocol can be very clutch in the way it does extra damage to robots and pierces their armor as well. So we'll probably make Malinowski into a combat hacker. Boom. Larium core, more corpses, yada yada. Send the bill to my room. And it's cutscene time. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. I'd do anything for that man, really. So, hell yeah, we're going to lead the resistance. I had nothing better to do anyway. Let's lead the global resistance. Why not? Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Jesus. Excellent work. Now that we have more staff on the engineering team, Jesus we can start Christ. clearing out space for new facilities, Commander. What? We should keep looking for more recruits, though. <laughs> we'll need them to staff the facilities once they're built. Oh, these pictures just fuck up sometimes. Jesus Christ. Okay, at least it doesn't happen in the real game, I guess. It's dark, it's dank, and it's mostly metal. This ship isn't all that different from the old base. Or my basement. So, we've got Engineer Commander? Katarina Dekotu, which is excellent. Now we can go uh, and use her on stuff. So, for example, uh, Commander, I could... so far I haven't seen anything critical among the alien components left over in this area. If we clean this stuff out... We could probably use this space for a new facility. Yes, Shen. So, I can take Katarina, and I can either make her double build this Gorilla Tactics School. I'm gonna dodge that. I don't need this built super quickly. Um, just soon enough. Instead, we're gonna take Katarina. We're gonna stick her down here. Get her excavating. Underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared out. Alright, and then after 20 days, that excavation will be complete. We'll get the supplies, and we'll be able to build in that room. And it's, uh, it's a great time for everyone. Apart from that, it's back to the geoscape. We have a lead on the alien black site, but we'll have to rely on the local resistance to actually get us into the facility. We should try to make contact with their forces in the region as soon as possible. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called Avatar project. Alright, so we need to make contact with the New India resistance cells uh, and get to work on hitting the black site. First, Avenger plotting I'm going to complete my rookie transaction, then I'm going to get those new supplies that just popped up. Ah, oh, yes, there we are. Alapone. Oh, Heinrich! Tom Exaltman is here. Heinrich, if you haven't met Heinrich before, Heinrich uh, popped up 
uh, on his own during one of the XCOM 2 preview streams I did. Just a random dude named Heinrich Bauer who happened to be wearing an Exalt bandana. Uh, and then as we played more of Heinrich, we discovered he was a fucking badass who never missed a shot and was just incredibly good all the time. Uh, and eventually we basically worked out that this is probably the last Exalt standing from the old war. This guy is like the Cobra commander of Exalt and now he fights for us. He fights to free Earth. And there's Alapone. Alapone should need no introduction. If he does, you just haven't been watching the right films. Avengers. I'm very glad to see Bauer though. Bauer is gonna do good things for us, I think. Alright. Scan up a storm. What this? Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Alright, I'll get you the chip. I'll, New objective added. I'll go down to the store. I'll get you some chips. I'll I'll get you some no donuts while I'm there, Tygen. Thank you, Commander. I do love donuts. They are delicious. That's my Tygen impression, by the way. Ah, yes, the Advanced Warfare Center. This is my favorite building in the whole goddamn game. We are going to build that as soon as possible. But for now, we have a couple of priority researches we can do. Officer Autopsy helps us get on with um, getting the chips out of them. Resistance communications lets us make contact with that other cell so we can do the black side operation. Uh, and then we have hybrid material still, which obviously I'm not going to do just yet. Now, here's the thing I don't the want. officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. New objective added. The chip is the key. I know. I know, Tygon. I know you want me to do it. So. <laughs> it's. So, um, I don't want to do the black site yet because my team is not strong enough. I don't want to do the black site until I've got a strong team. So instead, I probably do Advent Officer Autopsy and then I can get to work on, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, Proven Grounds. So we're probably going to start on that. Although, doing Resistance Communications also allows me to not just do the black site, but also prepare for the black site, uh, which in turn allows me to get extra money from having more regions researched. But I think in this case I'll leave it till next month because I don't think I can get it done in time anyway. If I check the clock... Yeah, she has to leave. From my own experience, yeah, Advent I wouldn't have time. Heavy security ...rather than subterfuge when it comes to protecting their primary facilities. At least the ones I had access to personally. The Advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent forces. So we're just cutting up humans now, this is the new thing. I guess they're hybrids, if you want to get down of it. Tygen's down of it, he doesn't care. So that's good. Do what you will, Tygen. Alright. Let's get out there with the Advent Officer Autopsy in progress. Get some supplies. Although we have allies Ooh. scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations, Ooh. the aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good luck. 
All right, we need to spring some dude out of Advent custody. I'm all about it. Let's get into this. We're gonna get us a scientist for this operation. This operation is gonna go smoothly. Strike team, strike one, menace one five, whatever you're called now. I'm gonna call you strike one. Old habits die hard. Give me the combat protocol on Malinowski. That'll be handy. Uh, and then, and then I think that's it. I've got my frags, I've got my flashbang still set up, no new items to put in. Taking the perk, that's, that's about the long and the short of it. Let's go on this operation. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. Recon has been keeping an eye on an advent transport convoy moving through this area. As it turns out, a VIP of some importance to the Resistance is being held in one of their trucks. They've asked us to move in and handle the rescue operation. We'll have to eliminate any hostile forces nearby and secure the area. Then get the VIP to safety. Alright, that's next time on Operation Blood Queen. Until then, hope you've had fun this time, and until next time, have a good one.